Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Disney's Animal Kingdom and I am so excited to be here. I want to show you around the park and try some of the new food they released and also I bought Genie Plus so I want to see how many rides we can ride and also track the wait times. So we're going to eat some food, ride some rides and just have a beautiful Animal Kingdom kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. And we have made it to Disney's Animal Kingdom. Look at the tree of life. It's hard to believe that that is an upside down oil rig, but it is, and I love it. To buy Genie Plus today at Animal Kingdom, it cost $17. And then I also bought a individual lightning lane for Flight of Passage because it was only $14. So, so far I've spent $31. And uh, we're going to see how many rides we can ride. I'm sure I'd love to do Expedition Everest, Dinosaur, Kilimanjaro Safaris, maybe the Navi River Journey. And then, of course, we, I already mentioned we have Flight of Passage. So, we might be able to do every single ride in the park today. It is 92 degrees in Disney's Animal Kingdom at the moment. I think I just broke my phone. Well, that was sad. I think I got a little scratch, a couple cracks there. But uh, yeah, temperature is 92 degrees out and we got some rain coming in a little bit later on. But I'm sure we'll uh, get a lot done today. I'm also very excited because I'm getting ready to travel to Toronto this weekend for the very first time. I've never been to Canada and I can't wait to explore the area and make a video. So if there's anything you guys want to see me do in Toronto, please let me know in the comments. And if anybody's in Toronto and they want to come say hi to me, I'm going to be at the Fan Expo uh, this Saturday from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. at the Roosevelt's booth in the North Hall. And I'm so excited. It's going to be fun. So I hope to see some of you guys there and today we're just gonna kind of hang out in animal kingdom it's funny because we're gonna go from this hot humid weather to canada in just one day oh just a casual random kevin sighting hi friends isn't she just so majestic hi I'm sitting here trying to formulate a plan so that we can get the most out of our Genie Plus. And I think I'm going to start off by meeting Mickey and Minnie here because it's a really awesome meet and greet and it's the only meet and greet in Walt Disney World where you get to see Mickey and Minnie at the same time at a designated meet and greet. So I think we're gonna start there and then we're gonna do Expedition Everest, Dinosaur, and maybe Cali River Rapids all in under an hour. In under one hour. So we're gonna see how it goes, but it starts now. All right, it's time to head on into the Adventurer's Outpost, meet Mickey and Minnie, and uh, we're using the lightning lane. It's just about 2.30, so we're on the clock. As soon as I touch in, I'm gonna make another lightning lane, probably for Expedition Everest. And normally I wouldn't make a lightning lane for Expedition Everest, because I can always do the single rider, but I wanna sit in the front row. So, <laughs> I have to, you know what I mean? You have to either wait in the standby or go through the lightning lane. Single rider, you don't get the option to ride in the front row. But uh, yeah, we're gonna see if we can get this all done in a short amount of time. I love adventurous Mickey and Minnie. They're just traveling the world, taking selfies in iconic locations, and I'm here for it. Look at, they went and visited the Aurora Borealis there, and then uh, they even went to a couple more iconic spots. And don't be fooled, that's not Photoshop. They actually went to these places. This one's a good photo too. It looks like they're really having the time of their lives there. Hey pal, how are ya? Having a good day? Yes? Oh, and there's Minnie too. I, lo I love your travel photos in the next room, like in that past room there. You guys look fantastic. Minnie, you take great selfies. You do. And you just look like you're loving the, the, the adventure, you know? Oh, you love her and the adventure, but her first, I understand. That's perfect, that's the way it should, oh wow, you guys are adorable. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, well very cool. Well, I'm happy I got to meet you today. Do you mind if we take a photo? Yeah, let's do it. Well, that was adorable. I love meeting Mickey and Minnie, and it's so good to be able to see them together. Like, there are no other meet and greets where they are together, and you can get a photo and have the memory maker. The only thing is, is they don't have photo pass photographers. They have that box in there, and I'm not the biggest fan of that. But we have to move along, and uh, we're trying to get four rides done in one hour. So on to Expedition Everest. Wow, I can't believe that little tiny fall did this much damage to my phone. Lots of cracks on the screen. But 
oh well, the day must go on. No need to cry over broken iPhones. I feel like we should probably ride Cali River Rapids first, but I already made the lightning lane. But if you ride Cali River Rapids first and you get soaking wet, then you can go ride Expedition Everest. And because it's so fast, it might dry you off. And speaking of Cali River Rapids, I brought my GoPro with me because last time I rode it, I feel like I got a lot wetter than I used to. And as you're climbing up that hill there, there's this one geyser that sprays. And as you're about to hit it, it usually shuts off. But the last time I rode it, it didn't shut off and I got soaking wet so I brought the GoPro to film it and I'm excited because it is definitely getting hot out and I can cool off a little bit. All right, it's time to head into Expedition Everest and the wait time is only 25 minutes, but it's okay. Like I said, I wanna ride the front so we're gonna use our lightning lane anyway. How are ya? Namaste, welcome. Namaste. As soon as you touch the second lightning lane touch point uh, you can make another lightning lane selection so I'm gonna pick Cali River Rapids and it's kind of amazing how like we're picking the uh, lightning lanes for the exact time that we're going to the attraction like 2:30 was at Mickey and Minnie and then I got a 240 for Expedition Everest and I'll probably get like a 240 or 250 for Cali River Rapids so we're doing them fast already Look at that, Cali River Rapids for 3 p.m. So as soon as we get off Expedition Everest, we can hop right on. See the Guardians of the Galaxy show building and Epcot. I wonder if the bird's gonna pop out. No bird. Expedition Everest is such a great ride and it's got everything. It's got the theming, it's got the thrills. The only thing is if they would just fix that dang Yeti, then it would be like the perfect roller coaster. Anywho, it's time to make our way to Cali River Rapids. Cali River Rapids this way, entry and booking office up ahead. And you know what I love about Animal Kingdom? Is how they have all these different walkways where it just seems like nobody's here. Like look at this. We're walking up to Cali River Rapids and there's not a single soul back here. But I mean, on the main walkways, there's tons of people. But I like taking the smaller paths, you know? Now that we've made it to Cali River Rapids, it's time to put the camera in the bag and pull out the GoPro. So here we go. <laughs> now that we switched over to the GoPro, you might hear a little bit of a difference in the sound because of the microphone, but at least this one can get wet and uh, I don't have to protect it so much. But I do have a bag and I think I'm going to take my hat off and put it in there too. Because it is so hot out today, Cali River Rapids is a very popular attraction. So I'm happy that we grabbed the lightning lane. Look at this line. Holy moly. Oh, it goes all the way back. So this one was definitely a win for us. It doesn't look like that gigantic geyser is actually shooting off today. But let me know if you guys know what I'm talking about. And I'm excited to see if it is true. Like, has anybody ridden this ride in the past, like, three months? You definitely get wetter. I'm looking at all these people getting off and they're soaked. There 
was no big geyser, so I don't know. I could have swore I've seen a big geyser before. Oh. <laughs> This is the part, we're going down. We're gonna get soaked. One of us is. One side is, it's that side. Oh no, it's not me, it's not me! No, no, no! No, 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 uh oh! Oh, that wasn't bad at all, it was you! <laughs> it was you, I said it! <laughs> Yeah, I wonder who's up there. No one better be up there trying to spray us. Wow, look at that. Shockingly, I did not get that wet. I don't even, I, 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 it's kind of amazing. I did talk to a cast member though, and they told me that after it opened up, after a refurbishment, that geyser they shut off. And also nobody was standing on the bridge, uh, pressing the button, having the elephant spray us with water. Nobody was doing that. So I think I'm gonna go do that so that some people could get wet. Pressing the green button will shower the rafts. And this is free. A lot of theme parks actually charge charge you to do this but you have to time it right because it's not a continuous spray so i'm gonna wait till they're just about at those blue uh little uh buckets there and then i'm hitting it ready here we go oh yeah unsuspecting <laughs> All right, now that we've uh, sprayed some people with water, it's almost 3.30 and uh, we have completed our task. We're on our way over to Dinosaur now. Now, don't forget, we still have Flight of Passage. So, I mean, in general, I mean, I want to see how many rides I can get done, like, just in general. But in one hour, we did uh, meet Mickey and Minnie, Expedition Everest, Cali River Rapids, and now we're on our way to Dinosaur. That's actually pretty amazing. Look at Kevin. She's the best. Wow. <laughs> Is Russell coming? Wow. Nobody can draw a crowd quite like Kevin does. She really is special. <laughs> that was so awesome seeing Kevin get excited to see Russell and also seeing Russell getting excited to see that we found Kevin. I love that. That was so that was such a like amazing moment to catch on film. So I hope you guys enjoyed that because I enjoyed just seeing it in real life. That was really, really cool. And look at that, 3.36. So we're six minutes late, but that's because we spent time with Kevin. And uh, now we're making our way in. But honestly, I really love the fact that we've gotten so much done in just one hour. You know what I mean? I did pay the, uh, I think it was $17, but I would pay $17 to skip the line on four attractions in one hour any day. This right here is the Albertosaurus. Albertosaurus. Look at that. Meaning an Alberta reptile. I think I'm saying that right. Still very fancy. I used to love walking through this queue. Especially looking at all the cool things inside this little display right here. Isn't that cool? Like the alligator gar in there. Securely locked. Access denied. <laughs> and here comes our time rover. Travelers, place all loose items. T minus 10 seconds and counting. This is Seeker. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the iguanodon, and get out before that asteroid hits. Let's roll! Get them out now! Asteroid impact. 
Face yourself! Ah! They're not gonna make it! They're not gonna make it! I love riding dinosaur. It's definitely one of my favorite attractions. I love Indiana Jones too, but I always grew up loving dinosaurs. And now, like I said, we got everything done within an hour. We still have Flight of Passage to do, maybe Navi River, maybe Kilimanjaro Safari. In fact, we might just double it and do four more attractions maybe in the next hour. Maybe, but I do want to get some food. I definitely want to get something to snack on. There's a couple of new spots, so maybe we'll do that now and just slowly make our way over to Pandora. When you get off the ride itself, if you make a right, you'll see these signs with all the dinosaurs actually on them. And these dinosaurs are the dinosaurs you actually come across during the ride. Like this one would definitely look familiar. Look at that, isn't that so cool? Since we're still over in the dinosaur area, I wanted to stop at the Dino Bite Snack Stand because they have a new ice cream cookie sandwich and it's a Dino Dig one. Look at this. Dino Dig ice cream sandwich. Vanilla ice cream sandwich between two house-made sugar cookies with chocolate sprinkles, cookie crumbles, sugar bones, and a white chocolate dinosaur. What are, <laughs> what are cookie crumbs? I like that. And sugar bones. They all sound really fancy. Sugar bones and cookie crumbs. Look at how amazing this ice cream sandwich looks. Wow, I was not expecting this. I was not expecting this at all, but it looks incredible. There's no way I can eat all this. This is like three times the size of a Gideon's cookie. Like, I am so impressed by it. I can't wait to dive in. So we're actually gonna go down here behind Flame Tree Barbecue and find a little spot. I love coming down here and it looks like nobody's here. It's crazy. Look, there's no nobody sitting at the tables here or even down there. Ooh, or even at the high tops. Oh, I'm going back to the high tops. I wonder what his name is. He's got a lizard on his belly. Get yourself together. I'm afraid that I might make a little mess with this because it melted a little bit as I walked over to the Flame Tree Barbecue. But I'm going to pick it right up and uh, we're going to dive. Look how big this is. Like, use my head as comparison. That's, that's huge. Look at this. I don't, I don't want to spill. Oh, nope. That was a bad idea. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of like pick it up. I think that's the best way to do it. Oh my Lord, look at this. All right, we're going in for a bite. Here we go. <laughs> this is the best dessert I have ever had in Disney. This is definitely the best dessert in Disney's Animal Kingdom. The cookie is soft. It's so good. It's like it, it definitely tastes like a fresh baked cookie. The ice cream is amazing. The uh, cookie crumbs is fantastic. I love all of this. This is so good. Holy moly. The only thing is you gotta eat it, you gotta eat it fast. You gotta eat it fast or it melts pretty quickly on you. And I thought, like, it's really cool because I, I know that back there, they actually make these sandwiches. So they scoop ice cream and put it in between two, like, cookies. Well, or a lot of places you would just get an ice cream, like, cookie sandwich already pre-made. But these are made in house fresh every day as i'm sitting here really enjoying this ice cream cookie sandwich or the dino dig sandwich it's raining it started to rain raindrops falling on my head but that's okay because i'm at animal kingdom with an ice cream sandwich and the birds are looking at me because they want my ice cream sandwich oh wow look at the bottom of that the ice cream's like melting and making the cookie like very soft I gotta go for that. The winds are coming in from the east. The rain is like little tiny droplets, but I have a feeling it's gonna escalate very quickly here. So we'll play it by ear and see how it goes, but enough of the cookie sandwich business. We gotta keep moving along. Now it's time to make our way over to be, uh, it's tough to be a bug. It's only a 10 minute wait, so I'm not gonna make a lightning lane, but uh, I love doing this ride. It's one of my favorite little sit down attractions. <laughs> Grab some uh, special honorary bug glasses here. Look at that. We are now officially honorary bugs. I love doing It's Tough to Be a Bug. And now we're gonna keep moving along and make our way down into Pandora. And uh, don't forget, I bought my lightning lane already for this. This is separate. This is an individual lightning lane. Uh, it's not included in the Genie Plus, uh, but it's totally worth it. Like. You know what I mean? Flight of Passage is definitely the longest like line in all of Animal Kingdom. And we're gonna be able to just walk right on and do like five rides in literally about an hour. Like it's like an hour and twenty minutes. 
Nothing. I ran into some friends and we're gonna go ride Flight of Passage together. Are you excited? Yeah, very excited. Yeah. yeah. That's your favorite ride. Oh, you're wearing the shirt. Oh, well look at that. All right, well let's do it. Just like I mentioned, the standby wait is 80 minutes and now uh, it's time to head in for our lightning lane. This flight is highly immersive 3D experience. Those who have a fear of heights should not fly. No, oh, you've all got them. You got them. <laughs> but don't worry, uh, they're very common around these parts. Yeah. Uh, let's I lost my hat on Flight of Passage, but then I decided to buy this nice little fancy thing. So, <laughs> it's a win-win. Uh, but yeah, Flight of Passage was amazing, and uh, I think we're gonna start making our way out and head home and see Gracie Girl. It's definitely uh, gonna be a little bit rainstorms in the next hour or so, so I think we timed everything perfectly. And I had a lot of fun today. We did a lot of rides in a short amount of time. It's only four o'clock, no, 4.30, I'm sorry, 5.30. Why am I even looking at my magic band? That's not even a watch. When you drive around in Florida, these birds sometimes take up the road and you can't get across the street. Look at this guy. Oh, there's three of them over here too. I'm looking for a well-behaved Dalmatian that loves pup cups. Hey, there she is, Gracie. What are you doing? You wanna go for a little walkie, huh? You are so beautiful. And with that, 
We are done here today. How funny was it to see Gracie actually smile on the staircase? Dalmatians, when they smile, they have a really like weird looking grin. And I love catching Gracie's smile. So at the very end of this, once I end the video, I'm gonna slow it down so you can see what she looks like. Cause usually I don't catch her, but I caught her this time. And yeah, I had a great day at Animal Kingdom. I hope you guys did too. I really love just going and hanging out. And honestly, it's amazing how much we got done you know like if you really think about it and you like tally in like trans like your walking time in between attractions but we met Mickey and Minnie Road Expedition Everest Road Cali River Rapids Dinosaur it's tough to be a bug and Avatar Flight of Passage and got some snacks in like two hours. It was like two and a half hours and that's incredible. It was a slower day in the park, but uh, I still had a lot of fun. I had, a lot, I, like, I had a lot of fun. And to point out one thing too, as you know, the new Genie Plus system is on like a different like uh, tiered way. So like each day, each park is a different price depending on how popular the park is. Like Magic Kingdom's like $25 a day. Animal Kingdom will always be the lowest. It's always going to be the lowest and honestly $17 I don't mind spending $17 to skip the lines at uh, Animal Kingdom I wish I could pay $17 at Magic Kingdom Hollywood Studios everywhere I mean honestly, I wish it was just free like it used to be but you know, that's just not gonna happen So I mean $17. I still was very happy with what we got done today and I'm excited to go to Toronto So like I mentioned, let me know if you guys have any suggestions of things that you think I should do And also don't forget if you want to come say hi, I'll be at the fan expo now Roosevelt has two boots So make sure you come see me at the Star Wars one. Um, I put a little a uh, little uh, a uh, little con uh, caption at the top there to let you know what booth number it is. But I always love seeing people. I always love going out to like the, the different comic cons and fan expos and knowing that you know people watch my videos in other states and other countries. It blows my mind because I, I it, it, when you when you when you look at it for like my point of view, I don't get to see a lot of people or anything like that. And I just see like the numbers like when it comes to YouTube. But like. I, they're just numbers, but when you meet somebody, it's like totally different. That's why I'm so excited because I'm like, really? They're like, oh, I, you know, I remember uh, for the longest time when somebody said they liked my videos, I was like, oh, you're thinking of somebody else. You know what I mean? But like when you meet somebody and they're like, hey, I love your videos, you're like, really? That's awesome. Like I get excited about it. So if I see some of you come out, say hi. And if not, uh, we'll be back uh, here in Florida. And just a couple days, not too long. So uh, we should be doing some of the other stuff they have around the parks, Halloween Horror Nights, and also maybe, just maybe a little hint of a trip to Disneyland. So maybe, just in a couple of weeks. But anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Also, something else that I wanted to show you guys that's really cool is this Walt Disney World hardcover that I found, and I love looking at this. Look at how awesome this is. It's so vintage. I don't know the date exactly, but I love, look at all these balloons in the air. This must have been for uh, a special that they had. Look at that. When did they release a bunch of balloons in the sky? in uh, the Magic Kingdom, because I would have loved to been there. That, that was probably amazing. I love looking through all of these pictures. Look at the classic Mickey balloons. This is a good find right here. Look at all the Mickey, like the, the characters. They look so different. I'm trying to think when this would have been made, when this book would have been made. Holy moly, was there a spider that just crawled on the page there? Hey, little guy. Oh, no, I lost him. I mean, he might be on my foot now. Is this river country? Wow, look at that. And that's Discovery Island in the background there. I've never seen an aerial, like, this is the abandoned water park where somebody got that uh, brain-eating amoeba and they closed down. And now it's going to be the future uh, Reflections Hotel. And this is Discovery Island in the back there. This is also abandoned. This is in, uh, in front of Magic Kingdom by Bay Lake and the Seven Seas Lagoon. Wow, I didn't know that they had all this. Wow. This is a great book. So now we know that this is before Discovery Island. Look at this. Look at Discovery Island. Look at all the boats in the background. Stuff like this just, I love. I'm obsessed with this. Wow, that is a beautiful view right there.
I'm just kind of browsing around here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We might got something. We might got something. First published in 1979. Wow. That's cool. First published in 1979. Well, now we know. Just wanted to show you guys. That's a beautiful picture to end with. Alrighty.